Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video, we will discuss the radar range equation. We will also see how we can derive this radar range equation. So this radar range equation relates the range of a radar to the transmitter, receiver, antenna, target and the environment's medium. So we will see how it depends on these parameters and its derivation. We will see some diagrams also. So let's derive the radar range equation. Now to derive this range equation, assume an isotropic antenna at this place. An isotropic antenna is an antenna that radiates power equally in all directions. And here at a distance r, I want to calculate the power density okay so if I assume that PT is the power transmitted by the radar transmitter okay by this this is transmitting PT power then at a distance r from this the power density would be the PT divided by 4 pi r square what is 4 pi r square and why I am doing this since if I assume that it is an isotropic antenna, then it will radiate power equal in all directions. So, so I assume a sphere having radius r and its surface area would be 4 pi r square. So this uh, PT power is uh, distributed uniformly over this 4 pi r square area. So the power density at a distance r would be this pt divided by 4 pi r square this watt per meter square this is in watt per meter square you see here so this is the power density at a distance r okay since the radar systems generally use directive antennas not isotropic antennas so if g is the power gain of the directive antenna then if i multiply this pt by 4 pi r square the previous expression by g the gain then it would be the power density at a distance r from this directive antenna having power gain g okay so this is multiplication by the power gain now total power intercepted by a target having an area sigma is what is sigma sigma is actually the radar cross section of the target that is area of the target as seen by the radar this is the area of the target that is seen by radar so this is the power density per meter square okay if i multiply it by the area then i will get the power okay watt per meter square is multiplied by the area this is per unit density means per unit area and if i am multiplying it with the, the area then the total power that is intercepted by the target on which we are uh, transmitting that we want to detect by the radar then i will get the power in watts so it is the power intercepted by the target having sigma sigma is actually the area of the target that is seen by the radar okay this is important now we will calculate the power density of eco signal at the radar station okay observe here that this is the, our previous expression now this is the reflected power actually this was the power that was intercepted by the target and the target reflects this part back towards the radar station so at this time this target is working as the source of power and at a distance r is the radar station this is working as the source of power and at a distance r if i think of a, since it is the radar station is at a distance r so power density would be 1 by 4 pi r square the same way uh, where we assumed sphere having radius r so its area was 4 pi r square see the diagram again this is the reflected power and it is working as the source so at a distance r is the receiving station okay radar station so if i assume this uh, kind of a sphere think of this as like this so this is the sphere having radius r then at a distance r the power the power density would be the power reflected divided by 4 pi r square area of this sphere this sphere okay 
so it is in watts per meter square this is the power density not power now what would be the power received by the radar power is in watts so if i multiply this by area then it would be watts per meter square multiplied by meter square would convert into watts so its unit is watt so i need to um, multiply it by the area of the receiver then i will get the power so what is ae i have multiplied this expression ptg sigma 4 pi r square whole square by ae so what is ae ae is the area ae is what see here a the radar antenna captures only a portion of the eco power the effective area of the receiving antenna is denoted by ae so ae is nothing but the effective area of the radar receiving antenna so this is the pr is the power received by the radar antenna now i want to calculate the maximum radar range r max it is denoted by r max so what is r max r max is the distance beyond which the target cannot be detected okay this is the maximum range up to which we can detect the target beyond this it is not detected cannot be detected it happens when the received eco signal power pr we have calculated this this is the received eco signal power is just equal to the minimum detectable signal we denote this minimum detectable signal by s minimum so it means if i replace the reflected power that we have just calculated by the s minimum the minimum detectable signal then our r that we have used in the expression r r term will would be replaced by the r max so our previous expression was let's see it what was it this was our previous expression pr pt g sigma ae 4 pi r square whole square so we can write it as 4 pi square and r into r to the power 4 okay this is pr so at the place of pr i have written s minimum and that r to the power 4 would would be replaced by r max to the power 4 at this time r is behaving as r max so ptg sigma ae 4 pi square r max power 4 from this simply we can calculate the r max okay r max would be ptg sigma ae 4 pi square s minimum okay and its power 1 by 4 because it was power 4 okay so power 1 by 4 you can simply calculate this r max from this now in the next step i would like to replace this g by another terms by writing g is in terms of wavelengths so let's uh, replace this g g is the gain of the antenna and g by the antenna theory can be replaced by g is equals to 4 pi ae divided by lambda square okay ae we know the effective area of the radar and lambda is the wavelength okay wavelength of the signal so in case of uh, radar generally same antenna works as the transmitter and the receiver okay we have seen two cases of radars bi-static and monostatic and monostatic uses single transmitter and receiving antenna which is the most commonly used form of radar so from this this is nothing uh, we have uh, seen the equation of r max and in r max i am just replacing this g in the previous term of r max i am replacing this g by 4 pi ae by lambda square you can check it so on replacing this it becomes pt 4 pi ae by lambda square sigma ae 4 pi square s minimum okay power 1 by 4 it is very simple so on rearranging these terms you will get this term okay this is r max this is uh, one form of r max equation okay radar uh, maximum range equation and uh, since g is equals to 4 pi ae by lambda square we have replaced the g in the terms of lambda and ae uh, i can uh, get another form of uh, this r max equation by replacing ae in terms of g from this equation okay from this equation ae would be g lambda square divided by 4 pi so replace ae by g lambda square by 4 pi this equation converts into this form ae has been replaced by g lambda square by 4 pi so r max would be this 
so simple mathematics actually there is nothing to explain in this just replace the term ae by this format so we will get the r max radar range equation in the form of gain the in terms of gain g gain of the antenna okay so you can see we have two forms of uh, radar range equation the maximum radar range equation in terms of g and in terms of ae ae is the effective uh, receiving antenna area and g is the gain of the antenna okay so i hope you liked and understood all the concepts if you found it useful please click on the like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe the channel engineering made easy for more such videos and keep watching it for more such videos in the future so thank you for watching the video see you guys in the next video till then bye bye